would you write a song about? I'd probably write songs about um, probably my family and my sisters and my brother and uh, my friends and, and school and things like that. What was your all-time favourite song to record? Was there a story behind why it was so fun? That's so difficult. Um, my, my, probably my favourite experience was probably recording Stay My Baby because um, it was written by uh, Max Martin um, and um, Ty Spa. So I, I had so much fun. I got to meet Max Martin and I got to go to his beautiful studio in Stockholm and, and record it there. So that's why it was so much fun because he's a great songwriter and he's written a lot of really good songs. So it was fun to meet him and, and get to see in his studio. I know you learnt English when you were young, but if you live in Sweden now, how do you keep your English up to scratch? I first heard about you three years ago and I became one of those freaky obsessed fans. Thankfully I've calmed down now, but I'm still a big fan. Hello, thank you very much for your comments. Um, I speak, I only speak English to my dad, so uh, when, I, um, when I was born, I was born in Sweden, in Norrköping, but then when I was about ten months we moved to England and I lived there until I was five years old. So when I came back to Sweden, I didn't know any Swedish, I only spoke English. And since then, I've, I've only spoken English with my dad all the time, so I don't speak Swedish to, to, to him. So that's probably why I can still speak English, because I've kept it going by speaking to him in English all the time. Hi Amy, have you ever visited any place that was breathtaking and amazing for you? I mean, do you have any memorable place where, where when you back there you feel something from your childhood, like a very old house where you was running and playing as a young child? If not from your childhood, maybe something where you would love to go to come back to, because it's a kind of a magical thing, and you spent magic and beautiful moments in your life. Greetings from Poland, Agnes. Hi, Agnes. Thank you so much for your question. I actually I have a lot of uh, even though I can't remember that much, I still have. A sp I always get a special feeling when we drive past our old house in England. Uh, we lived in Bishop Stortford outside of London when I was uh, younger. So every time we drive past the house there, I always get some sort of like, I don't know, it's a special feeling, it's really special to drive past there because I have some memories but not that many but it's always very special to drive past that house. This next one is in Swedish. Kommer Mikael Rickfors vara med på True Colors? Ni passar så otroligt bra ihop när ni kommer på Dansfeber. Tack så jättemycket. Um, nej tyvärr, han kommer inte vara med på skivan men det är bara för att vi hade redan spelat in True Colors innan dess så Uh, det här med att sjunga på dansfeber tillsammans hade vi inte ens uh, den idén hade inte ens liksom kommit fram innan vi hade spelat in den så tyvärr så kommer ni inte finnas med på, på skivan men det var jättekul att sjunga tillsammans på dansfeber Hello Amy Halloween will be soon Did you ever go trick or treating? Many kisses Maria Yes I have gone trick or treating many 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 times <laughs> when I was younger um, so my mum used to we used to dress up in, in scary costumes and go trick-or-treating all the time when I was younger. Hey, I was wondering, how do you keep your private life away from all the press? And also, if you were ever planning on doing some concerts in England, my little sister and I love you to pieces, and I would give anything to see you perform live. Have a great week, girly. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Um, to your first question, um, actually in Sweden it's not that crazy. Um, I I live in Jönköping, so... I don't, um, I don't live, there are, isn't like paparazzi and stuff like that in Sweden, it's just very calm and cool, so uh, I don't really have to struggle that much with that, it's, it's very laid back. And uh, I would love to come and perform in England, that's my dream, so it would be absolutely amazing if I could. I don't, um, as I've said before, I don't really know if, if it will happen and when it will happen, but uh, it would be amazing to perform in England, definitely. When you changed school from the old one to the hairdressing school and got new classmates and stuff, how did they react to have someone as famous as you in their class? Do you feel like people act different around you because you sing? No, not at all. I, I had a great time. It was so much fun to start a new school and, and uh, start to, to study to become a hairdresser and I got to know so many new people and I got so many new friends so it was really, really nice. I mean, there was nothing strange going on. It was just really, really nice and fun. When does your world tour start? <laughs> um, I don't really know. I mean, I would love to perform in, in uh, all these different places that all of you have been talking about. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I, I don't really know. I mean, um, hopefully 
it will happen someday. It's it's a dream of mine to be able to perform in different countries. So so hopefully um, I'm I don't really know. I hope so. <laughs> this next one is in Swedish. Ska du ställa upp i Melodifestivalen något mer? Jag vet faktiskt inte riktigt um, om jag ska vara med någon mer gång, förhoppningsvis någon gång i framtiden. Jag har varit med två gånger innan och det har alltid varit jätte, jättekul att ni har varit med och det har varit, um, det har varit en så rolig upplevelse båda gångerna att man får vara med för det är en sån jättestor grej och man får fixa kläder och det är dans och allting. Så jag hoppas att jag ska kunna vara med någon mer gång i framtiden. Do you ever plan on coming to the United States and possibly doing a tour or a few performances? Do you plan on furthering your singing career or does it stop here? Will any of the songs on this album get a music video? I would love to come to America and perform. I've been in America before on holiday. I was in Florida last year and it was really amazing so I would definitely love to come and perform there. I don't think any of the songs from this album will get a music video, not that I know of anyway, but uh, hopefully sometime in the future I'll make a music video, it will be lots of fun to make a music video because uh, the last one I made was in 2007 with Stay My Baby and it was really fun to, to record a music video, so hopefully sometime in the future. Hey Amy, will you ever come to the USA and perform? Like Texas. Please, 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 please. <laughs> I will be the first to buy tickets and maybe backstage passes. I have to meet you and say hi. <laughs> hi! <laughs> that would be amazing. I've never been to Texas before. So hopefully um, I'll go to Texas sometime and perform and uh, we can meet each other. That would be great. Hi Amy, congrats on your new album. When you were young and first started singing, did you ever imagine that you'd actually become a famous singer? No, I mean, I never thought that um, I'd get the opportunity. Obviously, it was always a big dream of mine, but, um, I mean, I, I never knew if it was going to happen or not. I was just almost, always dreaming about it. And when we released What's In It For Me, uh, I didn't have any expectations on how it would go, but uh, thankfully, it started getting played and I got to release my first album, so I'm really happy for all the opportunities I've had. How does it feel that you have a greatest hits album? Maria. Hi Maria, it feels absolutely amazing, I can't believe that I'm releasing a Greatest Hits album and it feels so great now that it's out and last weekend I was out signing, um, signing the album in different places and it was so great to hear all the songs and sign the record so I'm really happy. Do you live in an apartment or a house? Uh, we live in a house because there's so many of us in our family so uh, we live in a house. <laughs> I have a simple question for you. Are you coming to Holland someday? If you are, I'll be there. Love from Holland, Tessa. Hi Tessa, I've actually been to Holland before and it was absolutely amazing, it was so much fun. So hopefully I'll be able to come back to Holland sometime and perform again. Hi Amy, congratulations on your Greatest Hits album. Do you still remember your concert in Lithuania? How did you like Vilnius? Nadia. Hi Nadia, I definitely still remember that concert. It was absolutely amazing, there were so many people there and um, I got to sing, I think I sang four songs. Uh, it was so much fun, I had a really good time. What was your first word when you were a baby? Have you got a mascot? If you have, what is it? I don't know what my first word was when I was a baby actually, I have to ask my mum. Um, I'm not sure what my first word was. But um, I've heard that I was quite early in speaking, so I don't really know. It was probably mama or something like that. <laughs> I don't have a special mascot right now, but I do have loads and loads of cuddly toys lying on the floor. <laughs> uh, so I have lots of cuddly toys, but I don't have a special one uh, that I have as a mascot. Are you working on any new music now, or are you getting ready to promote your Greatest Hits album? Linda Clary of Austin, Texas. Hi Linda, um, I'm, right now I'm not working on any new music because um, right now I'm focusing on the Greatest Hits album and all the things around it and all the performances now. So I'm not preparing any new music right now but hopefully I'll be able to release a new album maybe next year or the year after or sometime in the future anyway. I hope I'll release new, new music.